Hi. I'm just going to do a very simple line of wash. A couple of trees here, a bit of landscape, a bit of marsh grass coming here, a bit of distance across the, uh, the estuary, just based on a, a just a memory of, of around Arlesford and Wivenhoe in Essex, salt marshes. Um, the trees probably don't exist quite so close to the, well some of them do, there, there, there's, a, there's a walkway along here, they're on a sort of dike, as sea, part of the sea, sea defence, and it's quite, there are quite a few trees down there, so, oh, yeah, they, they do, and you, you can look through the trees, across all the mud flats, but I, I just want to leave some of this open and just put in a couple of these, these trees. Now, I've got a, my stick here, that I'm going to draw with, it's just a piece of packing case, something, so I'll, uh, I'll rough the edge with with uh, very coarse sandpaper. So, so it roughs, it puts a bit of um, that rough, rough edges on it. And you could sort of dry brush with it and just make some, some interesting marks. So I get quite a bit on. You have to keep dipping it. But it all looks so st stark when you first put it on. But when you start painting around it, it does some lovely Lovely, lovely things. It, it, it drops back into the actual painting, and it's hit, hit a miss. So it's just a sort of a an old old tree. Time you get your raw sienas and not just dragging grasses. Another one here, but try and get this a bit a bit twisted. A bit gnarled. Been there a long time. Just trying to make that not quite so straight. Thicker trunk here. It's all very straightforward and hit and miss. Cocoa is just a good tree, eh? Things when you put water on, on it, to make sure it's dry. So this one I want stronger. Well, it doesn't really matter, but as long as they're not equal weight. Just a look a bit. You won't know which one to look at. You make one thing dominant and the other subdominant. Beautiful. So this is half the sort of painting here. Now of course here we'll, we'll have the... Uh, the just a touch of ink coming across out of that. And then just the extra here, I'll put some boats in.
crosses. Right. <coughs> That'll do. I'll give that a bit of a dry. Use ice lolly sticks. You could pick up off the floor, not very hygienic, but once you've rubbed them down, sharpened them with a craft knife, be okay. Right, I hope that's uh, dry enough. I'm going to work the paper. This is black, black waterproof ink, which look, it doesn't seem to be too waterproof or too dry. Well, that's uniform, isn't it? Right, a bit of uh, raw sienna in the sky. Awesome. Ultramarine, a bit of Payne's Grey. I'm going to have to dry it off now because uh, I want to get into the background. They seem to have a bit of a puddle there, so let's just. That. needs to be done to the sky. Uh, right, so I'm going to put in the background sky colours with the vogue hair. I have got another hake on the go because this one is slowly wearing out all the way across there. So it's looking across the, um, the Coal River to Row hedge to the to the left. We've got Clacton, Brightling Sea, Arlesford. To the right, we've got Rivenhoe, going on to Colchester. Oops. 
turn that up a little bit. Now we're we'll putting some darker trees on there. Burnt sienna and uh, archer. I want to show some white sails. This is very yachting, yachting place here. Just down here is uh, Brightling's uh, River No Sailing Club. Just adding some bits of interest as we go along here. This is very much from memory. Ah, oh, that's, that's right. Okay, let's put in some uh, some greens. Some darker green. The shadows here. Now some nice uh, raw sienna and a bit of burnt sienna. Just warming this bit up here. Right now some salt marsh, some burnt umber and an ultramarine just to show some mud flats. We're looking into the, the, the channel here now, so not going to be a lot of grass. So I'll dry that off. Put in some sky colour. Put that in Vogue hairs. Let's just get that in. Now I reckon that my uh, horizon's gone up here a little bit. Well, it goes up here anyway, doesn't it? Because it's going further towards the uh, the land. Uh, right, um, I'll I'll make that a bit of a spring spring day. So I'll put a bit of burnt sienna and raw sienna 
and that was yellow, just behind. Just a bit of a blush, and then dry it. Strengthen up some of the uh, trees, the branches, grey, burnt sienna, quite, quite dark. The burnt sienna mixes great with the ultramarine. And and Payne's grey for a lovely rich rich dark. So let's just strengthen up these. Just warming these up a little bit. I think we can afford to put in some channels on top of that, so grey and brown and a bit blue. Just just touch it so. It's a pity that uh, the paint ran a bit, not the paint, the ink. <coughs> we were going okay, so we put the wet on. Right, this is a nice bit of grass going in now. And trees there. <sighs> Just a little bit of Just a little bit of interest there. I, I don't really want to put any figures in because they'd, they'd be too big. The trees are probably about 
12, 15 foot tall, so I think it would be probably about, about there. We could put a figure in, I suppose, just looking. But I won't, I'll, I'll leave that, that bare. Uh, quite like, quite like this, this scumbling, I think this dry brushing or dry inking. Um, put a bit of bit of warm in there. Nice, right, so I'm gonna let that go. These usually look better on the computer on the film than they do in real life. For some reason the, the computer does tend to enhance or add some light. Right, now we're just going to twist that slightly in the frame. So we just straighten up it. Right, there we go. A very quick line and wash of a couple of trees and a bit of bit of foreground. So the Colne River going up to Colchester, I'll zoom you in. I might, I, I, yeah, I'll zoom you in. Oops, zoom you out. All right, let's. Uh, there we go. They're very quick, as you saw me do them. They're very quick and impressionist, as is everything else about this painting. But it, it just is my attempt to capture the. The huge space and the sky of this area, this essentially flat landscape with some very low sort of hills. There's a lot of uh, sand and aggregate quarrying going on here. And you do get quite big coasters going up here at high tide into Rowhedge where the ballast is loaded up or it's bright and you see Ballast Key, which I've painted a few times. Fabulous area, the artist's paradise. Loads and loads of water, estuaries, creeks, all sorts of wonderful painterly subjects. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Oh, I just zoomed you out of the game so you can get an overall picture. Not copied for anything, just, just, just straight in. Bye bye.